On the runway, pop tags, I'm fresh off the runway. Everything on me, so bleak. I'm a cold blood killer, killer, yeah. Feeling way up like a god. Guess I'll do it for the gods. Yeah, I can do what I want. When you pop and you do what you want. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, this is yet another um, update on this hair that I have been wearing. This is going on, going on two months. Um, it'll be two months uh the 27th of this month and today is the 14th so um just some quick updates on this hair i don't know if y'all guys have seen the last video i made on this hair uh but i did have a mishap with this hair um but it's my fault it's totally my fault it's not the hair company um it is i do have like a huge it's not a ball spot like my lace had ripped when I he well he touched the lace or whatever and it just like disintegrated so the hole was probably like that big and but I fixed it I have some lace laying around it's not 100% fixed because I didn't um ventilate any hair through it but I mean you can't see it I don't think you can. No, it's like, it's right here in this area right here, but you can't see it. So I like sewn the lace on and then I just applied some black powder just to mask it. Um, but like I said, it has nothing to do with the hair. Uh, but yeah, for those who don't know what type of hair I'm wearing, this is Brazilian straight. This is just a flexi rod, no heat on this hair. I just literally, um, flexi rod it this morning. I didn't put no heat. I just put the flexi rod in. I did have washed the hair last week and um while it was drying i had put some flexi rods in it and i let it sit for like three days and i took those out and i wore it the first time i wore the wig this week was monday and today's wednesday and i ended up going to sleep didn't tie my hair um didn't wrap it didn't flex ride it for two days just to see if it'll you know what I'm saying bounce back and this morning i just brushed it out i did get some shedding because like i said i slept with uh no uh scarf or no um rods in it but once again that's my fault it, it wasn't even heavy shedding it really wasn't um but yeah and then this is the curls that i got so for me to sleep with the hair not flexi rod not tied up um and still get this this look is amazing like the curls actually from last week still like was there like i just helped the curls pop more with putting flex rods in and jumping in the shower i just helped the curls like you know be more more defined a little bit more defined but um, this is, let me go back. I'm sorry, I'm like all over the place, but so the inches I have is 228 to 26, a 22 and a 20 inch 13 by 4 frontal. Um, I did not bleach my knots. I do not bleach knots. I, I just feel like it, uh, damaged the hair, um, or weakens the hair. So I just try to do anything and everything possible just to keep the strength of the hair going. Um, just to keep the longevity of the hair. Um, so all I did was just take my foundation and put it on the base of the lace. And I did pluck. I didn't really have to do much plucking because it was a pre-plucked lace frontal. I did add a little bit of baby hairs. I'm not really big on like over-the-top dramatic baby hairs. Not knocking anybody who is. But that's not my thing. Um, what else can I say about this hair? Uh, it doesn't tangle. I will say one thing though about this hair if anybody is interested in buying it This hair does not like product at all whatsoever like no products and I say that because when I try to Do a flexi rod set I used or maybe it's just a product that I use. I don't know I use um, some foam some wrap lotion. I don't have the bottles in my bathroom. I use wrap lotion on this hair just use a little bit on each piece and flexi rod it and then i took it out the next day it was the curls were pretty but it had like this like the hair felt like dirty like it had like this residue feeling on it it started tangling and the nape really bad like i had to wash it out again like it was just so bad so if you know any better products used maybe that product was just too heavy on the hair 
um then link it down below so i can check that out but i know for, for a fact this I just I just put if anything I put water on this hair and that's it if it needs to be conditioned I'll just co-wash it and leave the deep conditioner in for a while and then um, wash it out and let it air dry I'm sorry about how I sound I am coming down with the cold Ugh. but it is the weather changes out here like crazy so it's like it's hard to get away from catching a cold out here but yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about this hair. If you guys want to see me do styling videos on this hair, I do sometimes wear it half up, half down. I have worn it with the two braids. Um, this hair really is versatile. And I forgot to tell y'all guys the price. I want to say it was $223 for four bundles and a frontal. I did not use all of my bundles. Um, and then I used three and then a little bit of the fourth bundle. Which was the 22. I, I want to. I, I will put all the links in the description below. Um, and about the company. Um, the company is Sinoshore. Sinoshore or Sinoshore. It is a Amazon based company. She has a, um, a store on AliExpress. For those who are familiar with AliExpress. I like going through Amazon more than I like going through AliExpress. But she is amazing. Like. I text her all the time if I need some more hair. She always responds. I don't have to email her. Um, I do get to text her. Um, she'll text me, ask me how the hair is going. Like, so she's really, really like involved with her customers, and that's what I really appreciate. Um, so if you are looking for some great affordable hair at a great price uh, and great quality, because this hair is amazing quality, um, it hasn't lost its length. This is twenty eight. And it has not lost its length. I'm 5'9". So that's good because I know hair over time will start to look a little shorter because of breakage. I don't have any split ends. I really don't and that's amazing. Um, yeah, I really don't know. Hold on. I really don't know what else to say. Like there's no cons. Only con was the products i don't like i said i don't oof, i don't put products in my hair i really don't but like i said it could be the products that i've been using and only time i will put heat in this hair is if i want it bone straight and even when i do that i use my dang my flat iron is in the bathroom too i use it on the lowest setting which on my flat iron is 330 um but it does go up to 410 but i don't really unless i even 330 will get it bone straight, so I don't even really need to turn it up that high. The frontal does not shed. Um, only problem I have with my frontal was, you know, my my doing. And I'm going to tell you why. is because I did have my flat iron on to 410 degrees. So, ladies, if you're looking to get, like, don't put heat on the frontal, like, on the hair, yes, but don't let it touch the lace. Like, if it's that high. I think that's what it was. I think my flat iron was just extremely too high for the lace to handle. And that was the outcome of it. But I was able to salvage. I could still, you know, do my middle part. And it won't show because this hair is so thick. Thank God. <laughs> the frontal is so thick. It, it masks, like, the faults that I had, you know, made in my frontal. But yes um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions if you want me to do a styling video on this hair um let me know um and i didn't say i didn't say this in the beginning of the video thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel if you are not yet subscribed subscribe please um i know i haven't been putting up videos like i should it's been a really 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 rough and emotional time in my life right now um don't even know if I want to do a video on it, but uh, yeah, I'm just getting better finding myself. Um, so please, please, please bear with me. I know guys really be like asking me to do videos, makeup videos, hair videos, and, and I want to. I really do. It's just a lot going on in my life right now that it's just like, uh, like really like hindering me from doing so. But the seller of this brand really reached out to me and she said she would like me to do another update of this video I me mean, on this hair and I told her I would she asked me yesterday and I told her I would get it out as soon as possible so I'm doing that today for you guys 
But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye.